Hi, I'm Chef Bernard. We're going to be doing some grilling, and we're also going to be doing some smoking. Let me tell you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing some smoking, and we're going to be smoking some brisket of beef. Wonderful. This process is going to take us a while. So if you've got house cleaning to do, it's a nice, great Saturday, any day, actually. You get some house cleaning to do, you're going to stick around. This is perfect. This is going to take us probably five, six hours, all right? More so closer to six. We're going to talk about the process of smoking. We have these uh, vintage barrel chips, and basically, I feel that you're going to have to order them, but we'll put that information on the screen. But um, it's actually the wine barrels that they have taken and made into chips. And you don't need to soak these chips. You just take, because they have that wine flavor, and you put them right on your hot coals. And that's what we did for this recipe here on our beef brisket. It's actually a uh, barbecued beef brisket, but we're taking and we're going to smoke it with these vintage barrel chips, all right? Now, two ways of smoking. If you're going to be using coals like we are here, what you're going to do is just take the chips, pull them out, and we'll put about like a half cup onto our coals, and we'll just let them cook up, just like this. Here they are. Nice. They have a great little fragrance, great fragrance, all right? And um, throughout the course of our time here, we'll talk about, and you'll see, if we need to add more coals, because it is such a long process, we will. If we need to add more chips, we will do that. Now, if you're going to be uh, using some charcoal briquettes, uh, or briquettes uh, if you're using a gas grill, what you're going to be doing is taking your chips, you're going to put them in foil, all right, and you're going to wrap them up in the foil here, and then you're going to poke some holes in the foil, real tiny little holes here, so that when they start to cook your chips, all that smoke starts to come out. So you're just going to pop some holes in here, you're all set and ready to go. Now, I got that information right here off of the directions, so I don't know why, but more than likely, when you're using grill like that, you want to be able to just pull those uh, chips out so that way every time um, you're smoking, or uh, rather every time you're going to be grilling, you don't have that smoky flavor if you don't want to uh, have that flavor inside your meat if you're just going to do traditional grilling with a, gr with a uh, gas grill. All right? Anyway, we're going to be starting out with some brisket of beef. And um, we have about a two and a half pound piece of meat here, all right? And we leave the fat on. And I'm going to show you that. We leave the fat on because that's going to actually take and melt right into the meat. It has great, great, great flavor. All right, so we're going to leave that on. And also here, we're going to leave on any fat here, all right? Remember, we're talking about six hours. We're talking about four hours smoking time. And then we're going to pull it, and then we're going to wrap it in foil. Right after we rub it, we're going to wrap it in some foil, and we're going to let it cook again for about another two hours. And of course, you want to check for its tenderness. Now, here's my ice pack. See that? We had our ice pack from last week. Beautiful. Keep that. We'll put that back in the freezer, because we'll be out here again next week. And man, we got a great show next week. Now, my rub is consisting of sugar, black pepper, paprika, little chili powder, salt, and garlic powder. And again, we're using our little plastic containers. That's the best method. We're going to take and we're going to mix this up and make sure that when you're pouring these items in, keep them away from you. If you do it in a bowl, keep it away from you because that chili powder, that pepper, whew, you breathe that in. Good night. Now we're going to mix this up, combine it, and then we're going to take our meat. I'm going to pour this into this package here. And we're going to get this all rubbed up. This is how I like to work with this. Now, of course, you can have a platter. You're going to do this indoors. You're going to get yourself all set up before you go outdoors.
So I'm going to do half. And then we're going to do the other half right here on the other side. And I'm going to keep this. Now, this is a traditional rub. for meats, whether you're going to be doing ribs, okay? And whenever you're going to be smoking, you need to have some type of sugar, whether it's a brown sugar or like we're using here, white granulated sugar or sugar in the raw. You need some type of sugar for that caramelization on the outside of the meat. That's what they use when they do some smoking, all right? So we take that, we coat it in, all right? We'll put it in there or rather rub it in real well. We'll make sure it gets nice and sticky. Then we're going to take and we're going to put that on our grill. Now I'm going to show you, we have some already in the progress here, already in the works. We have one I'm going to pull off because it's been smoking for a while. Another one we put on a little while ago. We're going to have a great lunch out here. But here's my chips. As you can see, I have some in the foil here, just to show you, and then we have some chips here. This has been smoking now for about four hours, uh, excuse me, for about five and a half hours, and I took it out of the foil to show you how it looks. This one here has been on for a wee bit now. This is about uh, two hours. And what you're gonna look for is an internal temperature here within this grill of about 200 degrees, a little less than that, and a consistent temperature of slow cooking of the meat to where we're gonna bring it up to about 160 degrees and let it cook slowly for that amount of time. The brisket is a piece of meat that we're going to have to cook for a period of time because it's a very fibrous piece of meat and we need to break down those fibers, all right? So we're gonna take our piece of meat here and we're gonna put it on, on the grill and we're going to put it fat side up, which is right here. And we're going to pull this piece off right over here. And I'm going to put that in my foil. Now, it's very important that we don't put this on top of the coals because we don't want this to cook. What we do is want it to smoke. And then we're going to leave it covered for a period of time.